Anne Fritha. I'll be reading two poems, uh, one called Poems of Air from the late hour, and the second one, Breath and Darker. Poems of Air. The poems of air are slowly dying, too light for the page, too faint, too far away. The ones we've called the moon, the stars, the sun, sink into the sea or slide behind the cooling trees at the field's edge. The grave of light is everywhere. Some summer day or winter night, the poems will cease. No one will weep. No one will look at the sky. A heavy mist will fill the valleys. An indelible dark will rain on the hills and nothing not a single bird will sing. Breath, <clears throat> breath. When you see them, tell them I am still here, that I stand on one leg while the other one dreams, that this is the only way that the lies I tell them are different from the lies I tell myself. That by being both here and beyond, I am becoming a horizon. That as the sun rises and sets, I know my place. That breath is what saves me. Even That even the four syllables of decline are breath. That if the body is a coffin, it is also a closet of breath. That breath is a mirror clouded by words. That breath is all that survives the cry for help as it enters the stranger's ear and stays long after the word is gone. That breath is the beginning again, that from it all resistance falls away as meaning falls away from life or darkness falls from light. That breath is what I give them when I send my love. Thank you.